guys welcome back to our channel my name is Megan and today I wanted to share with you what we'll be using for my first and third grader this year for their core curriculum this is the fourth year now that we have used my father's world um, I guess actually I should say our third year because last year we took a year off from it since I had our fifth child and so we did just kind of the basics for that year and then we picked back up with it this year um, but this year we're going to be using Adventures in U.S. History from My Father's World. And I'm going to show you guys what all that includes and what it looks like. times to find more and more about my father's world and while there is some things that you can find like on blog posts and things like that and there's some Facebook groups that can give you some good support too there are very few videos that really show what all is included and how it can be organized so I'm gonna hopefully be able to help you out with that if you've ever considered my father's world um, and I will let you see what it looks like today Okay, so this is what the teacher's manual looks like. It is, I love the way that they lay everything out for you. You literally could open this up and get started. I always recommend to make sure that you read through everything just so you know um, what is coming and how you will teach those things. This gives you a lesson overview of what they're gonna be learning throughout the year and for each week. It tells you the theme of what they're learning for the Bible that week their U.S. History and Geography, and then their Science. Now with this curriculum, what you have to do is you choose your language arts, reading program, spelling program, and your math program. Now, we um, actually don't do the ones that they recommend. They recommend, I think they use, um, uh, I can't even remember. I'll look it up on the website maybe. <laughs> Um, or you can do that when you look into it a little more, but um, they just, I looked at those recommended ones and they just weren't really what I wanted to go with. And I wanted to go with something that was a little easier for me to keep track of and everything with um, having now four children that I'm homeschooling. And so we actually ended up going with Christian Light Education for our math reading and language arts and their language arts actually includes the spelling in it as well as some writing or you can adapt to do more writing with it and so we are using that instead of the recommended um so adventures in u.s history here we go so i showed you just kind of the scope and sequence of things i'm not going to show you a lot because i don't want to infringe on any copyright but i will go ahead and start by showing you just kind of what one week's layout might look like. They do a four day week. On the fifth day, they encourage nature walk and study. This is a Charlotte Mason derived curriculum, which I love. So there's a lot of reading, not quite as much as what Sunlight um, does, but they do encourage you to look and pull in extras from what they um, suggest that you read. So, speaking of reading, it tells you at the bottom each week what you'll be reading aloud, which pages, and things like that. They also have the book, the book basket part, which, um, of course, choose books that go along with what they're learning that week. Um, and it gives you the layout for the Bible for the week. It also, um, here's the language arts, it has that. And it tells you which days to do it but again they do a um, they they give a suggestion for which ones to use but it is not included in this curriculum okay so history this is a mainly history based program so of course it's US history you will keep a US notebook um, as well as a Bible notebook where they were, will keep track of their scripture memory and scripture writing in throughout the year 
Um, and then the science, of course, is included. Most of the science is literature-based science as well, and also just doing hands-on experiments. I'll show you the books for that in just a second. And then art, they recommend using I Can Do All Things. We are not doing this. We do extra crafts and paint, watercolor painting and things like that and nature notebooking at home, but we do a co-op every Monday. That's why this four-day week works great for us. We do a co-op every Monday. So, um, my eight-year-old is actually taking an art class this year at co-op. My other son, I can't remember the class, but it has a lot of arts and crafts and things like that. So, there's that. Also, foreign language. Um, my eight-year-old is taking sign language at our co-op, and my first grader will be in Spanish. So, that's that. Now, each week, on top of giving you this layout, if it says something like, see notes, it breaks it down by each day, and it has certain notes written in it that you might need in order to teach or for further explanation of how to do or what to do on those days. So there's that. Also, um, it has, for your book basket, it has recommended sources for your book basket, which is wonderful. It has all kinds of books with their authors and everything where it suggests that you pull those in to do your book basket. And I, of course, pull from other sources as well. You can see where I have written in some. And I'm going to show you a few books that I'm pulling in this year. Now, the next thing, I'm going to go ahead and open this to show you the list of everything that comes with this curriculum. Hold on just a second. There it is. Okay, so this is your basic package. It also has the add-on of the deluxe package. So let me open this up all the way and I will show you what comes in it. So of course the teacher's manual, which is this right here. The student sheets. Okay, so my student sheets, I keep in this and I have it already broken down by week. It says unit, but that's only because I've been using these same folders since we started using My Father's World in kindergarten. And for some reason I just wrote unit instead of week. But I'll give you an example of what the student sheets look like. They're all labeled for the days. And this is copy work type stuff. Okay. You also, through this curriculum, you keep a timeline throughout the year. So there's, I have one notebook with a gigantic timeline already in it that will just need to be colored and filled out as we go along. So those are the student sheets. There's not a ton of them, um, but that is them. Once you get into learning the state, there is, of course, a few more about actual states that you'll learn about. And one of the things that I'm gonna do with, this, with each state that we learn is I thought that it would be neat to plan our dinners where we researched what some things that each state was famous for food wise and make one of those um, dishes for dinner so that's something extra I'm adding in so that's one of the things I love about homeschooling and about this curriculum is you can adapt so much to it and you can add in so much to it so that is the student sheets the next thing that it comes with is for your Bible history, the Discovers Young or Bible for Young Readers. This is actually upstairs in my son's room, um, so I did not bring that down here. But I guess you could use any Bible that is written for a young child, but um, we use that one, the recommended one. Then the Story of the U.S., which is this book right here. Story of the U.S. Okay. Also, the next thing is um, American Pioneers and Patriots, which is this book right here. And I am so excited about this curriculum. I absolutely love um, history, especially American history. 
Uh, I always joke around with my husband and say that I was born in the wrong era. That I should have been born in the in that late 1800s. Um, I'm sure I would change my mind once I lived then. But okay, so then the map of the U.S. placemats. So you also get these, and of course I ordered two of them because I have two children that are going through this. And then also the United States sticker book. What did I do? There it is. Okay, and so it's a sticker picture book that when they learn about each state, they will stick it on there. Then the other thing is North American Indians, which is this book here. Then red, white, and blue, which is this book. Then the Thanksgiving story, which is this one. Then the 4th of July story, which is this one. I love the illustrations in these books. Then the Patriotic Songs of the USA. And I used to be a music teacher for public schools, so actually I will probably expand a lot on this. So um, here are some of the songs that they'll be learning, which is pretty cool. The other thing for science is the first encyclopedia of science, which is of course a Usborne book, which we love Usborne books. And they use a lot of, especially for science. It's a really neat book. Then Science in the Kitchen. And this is what I was talking about when I said most of it is kind of based out of books and a lot of hands-on experiments. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Science in the Air, or with Air, sorry. And Birds, Nests, and Eggs which again will be so fun. And this will be great to go with our nature study. My kids love birds already. We also have one of the, um, oh, what is the name of that? I think it's the Audubon Society maybe. I can't remember. Um, I think that's the wrong word. Anyway, but um, we have one of their bird identification books and they use it all the time. The other thing is the soda bottle feeder. Oh, and I have a crying baby, so I'm going to turn this off for a second. Okay, so the next thing, oh, and I skipped this actually, is our fun with magnets. And as you can see, I've already had some little minions trying to tear open the box. Um, but this will be so much fun. I used to love magnets when I was a kid, so I know that they're going to love that. Okay, so I actually only bought the basic package because we had some of the books for the read aloud list and we are not doing the um, art so I didn't want to pay for that and the acrylic paints which I already had if I didn't need it. So I'm going to show you um, of course the read alouds which are right over here. Okay so we have Pilgrim Adventures. I have a child playing in the background, so please excuse. <laughs> the Courage of Sarah Noble. Farmer Boy. Mountain Born, which we have already read, but we're going to read it again. It's a wonderful book. Sarah Witcher's Story. On the Banks of Plum Creek. So, those are the read alouds that they tell you to read with this. However, of course, there's the book basket, but also these are a few that I am pulling in, and there's actually a few others that are on my Amazon list that I just haven't ordered yet, like The Sign of the Beaver, and um, I can't think of some of the others off the top of my head. Anyway, so, um, Sarah Plain and Tall, I thought would go great with this. That was a favorite when I was a kid. Charlotte's Web, this is just one that I wanted to do this year just because I thought it was a great 
age appropriate time to do it. And also my third grader, I'm gonna have him read along with me. All of the Kind Family, it's a great period book. The Family Under the Bridge. Who was Sitting Bull? And, <laughs> excuse me, this is funny. I actually didn't realize that I already had this. So, if you live, okay, so here's the, here is where I left off. Okay, so if you lived at the time of the Civil War, if you grew up with Abraham Lincoln, if you lived in colonial times, which again, didn't realize I already had it. That was poor planning on my part. And if you grew up with George Washington, we also have this early reader for George Washington that I'm hoping my first grader will do. I found this at Target in the dollar bin, Famous Events and Symbols in America. America's 50 States, again, from the Target dollar bin, as well as this one, 50 Great States. Then, This Land is Your Land. I love this one, the pictures are really pretty. And of course, it goes with the song. America the Beautiful, also. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. It goes with the song. I found this at our used bookstore, The Civil War for Kids, History with 21 Activities. We're not gonna delve really deep into the Civil War because of age appropriateness. I kinda wanna just go into it deeper when we learn about US history again in a few more years. But um, we might do some stuff in this or save it until later. Also, Life the Lucky, which actually, it's funny because I grew up um, with saying his name Leif, Leif Erikson, but apparently it's pronounced life, which is interesting. Um, I just didn't realize that. Anyway, this book is beautiful. I love all of the Beautiful Feet books. This one actually I caught on sale on Amazon. This book is normally pretty pricey. And I got it for a little more than $6 and it's hardback. So I definitely had to get it because um, it's just, it's beautiful. Um, so those are some of the extras I'm pulling in. But like I said, I have many more. And um, so that is just an example. There's my curtains I still have to put up that I got from Ikea. Um, anyway, there are many more that we will be pulling in. We love to read. Um, and this is just a great curriculum. It's very fun. We've also got many field trips planned. We live in an area where there are, we're close to like some battlefields and um, some forts and some different museums um, that we will visit this year as well. And I'm sure I will be sharing some things, some activities and lessons that we do throughout the year. So you can be looking for that. If you've ever used My Father's World, leave me a comment below. If you haven't or have any questions, you can leave it below as well. But this was just an overview of everything, and I hope you all enjoyed.